Hello, it's Mike from Virtuous Art here. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about our beginner's stained glass foiling class. We actually do quite a lot of classes on the copper foiling method of stained glass, but this is the beginner's one, the one we suggest if you haven't done any glass work before. Uh, first question we always get asked is, what can I make? Well, we have a number of starter designs. We always provide the designs. In case you don't know, uh, we provide the designs because it means we can make sure that you can achieve your project in the time that we have and that it won't be too difficult to do. Um, if you want to do your own design later on, we have our project day programme, which is how you can do that. I'll talk about that probably in another video, but we always talk about that on the class anyway. So there's one of the designs we do. I think there's a choice of six or so designs that we do. Uh, we're always, we, we quite often change them anyway, so that we don't get so that we don't get bored of them ourselves. So that's, that's a pretty popular one. There's a couple of Art Deco ones. Um, there's one sort of Art Clarice Cliff kind of thing. Um, there's a couple of quite rectangular and um, sort of Mondrian style ones. Um, there's a sort of Victorian window. <laughs> Hold it up the right way, it probably helps. Um, this is actually based on the design that Jenny and I did on our very first class that we did when we were learning, when we knew nothing, um, about 15, 16 years ago. Also quite a popular design, but there are six or so designs that you can choose from. Lots of different colours of glass that you can choose from. So even if somebody on the workshop does the same design as you, of course your piece will be completely unique because it's your choice of colours. Now the question we often get is, what kind of glass cutter do we use? Well, we use these. Um, this is a Toyo Custom Grip, this one. Um, it sits in a hand like that. The reason we use these is because they're really good for beginners. They're also particularly good for people that have perhaps not so much strength in their hands or a bit of arthritis or something like that. If that's you, um, this is a great cutter. Even if you're doing stained glass already, this is a good piece of good piece of knowledge, this, because that's a great tool for that kind of use. Um, I'm going to do a little video about the different types of glass cutters that we use and that you could buy. Um, explaining the, the pros and cons of all of those but suffice to say for now this is a good cutter for beginners really easy to use gets away from the need to have all that much strength or control in your hands we also use tools like glass breakers and grosing pliers we always demonstrate all of the tools that we use when we get to them in the class and we also send you an info pack after the class which lists the kinds of tools we use and where you can get them from as well um, what is the copper foil? That's another question we often get asked. Comes on a reel. This particular one is about five mil wide. We use a slightly wider one on the beginners class actually because it's not quite so fiddly. Um, this one has a silver back to it. I'm glad that peel came off straight away, usually it doesn't. Um, and we use that to wrap the pieces of glass. This is sometimes called the Tiffany method of copper foil because it was first used that we know of anyway, in the Tiffany Studios in New York. So sometimes called the Tiffany, but copper foil method of stained glass. We wrap the pieces of glass once you've cut them and smoothed the edges um, in the copper foil, and then you can solder the pieces together. That's the, that's the essence of the Tiffany method. Where you see the silver lines, that's the solder on top of the copper foil. That's what's holding this piece together. Not as strong as the leading method, um, but it's more decorative. You can, you can do quite fine designs with a copper foiling method. A lot of people who do it at home prefer this because it's not quite so messy as the leading. Leading does get a bit grimy in places. Um, the copper foil is a bit more home friendly. Nice method to use, especially if you've got quite decorative pieces that you want to make. It's also quite a good thing if you want to do 3D objects. Now we do a separate 3D class. It's a different class. Um, there are some beginners projects on that, so it's not ruled out if you've not done glass before, but I would probably suggest starting on our beginners copper foiling stained glass class, the one where the designs I've just shown you, um, because they're a little bit simpler for beginners to do. If you're particularly good with your hands, you already do a lot of craft, you, you do perhaps quite a lot of fine work um, in a sort of a craft context, then maybe the 3D class is a place to start as well. Um, we do pieces like these brilliant hummingbirds. I love making these actually, quite tricky, but they're really good fun to make. Kaleidoscope, that's usually a two day project. So we do a one day and a two day. It's usually a weekend, a two day 3D copper foil workshop because it's nice to do it on a Saturday and a Sunday. Um, quite a few different projects, spinners and little succulent flowers and 3D flowers and things like that. Um, butterflies, all sorts. So that's 
that's kind of what the copper foil is good for. It's good for decorative things, it's good for 3D things, good for lamps. I love making lamps as well. Different workshop, I'll tell you about that on a different video. Um, another question we get about workshops in general, but this workshop as well, is, is everything included? Yes, it is. Lunch, refreshments, as much tea or coffee as you can get through in a day, as many biscuits as you can get through in a day. Um, the lunch comes from the cafe next door, really nice. Um, all the materials are included. You don't have to bring anything or bring any cash to buy any, any extra tools or materials or, or anything. We provide the goggles, all the tools you'll need during the day, aprons, which are washed in between classes, of course. Um, we've tried to think of everything that you might need. Nobody has to pay for anything on the day if you've already bought the workshop. That's the thing. If you want to buy the workshop for somebody else, you could buy a voucher for this as well. That's, I don't know whether that's um, worth knowing in advance of Father's Day, for example. Um, anyway, that's the copper foiling workshop. It's £149, including all the materials, lunch, refreshments, as we were saying. It's great fun, nice workshop to do. You take your piece home, you don't have to wait for it or anything like that. You take it home and you'll have learned quite a lot about stained glass, a little bit about the history and why Tiffany is quite a, quite a well-known name in the stained glass world all that kind of stuff and you'll have made something with your own fair hands what can you what can you what could you want more than that anyway i think that's enough for me if you'd like to subscribe to our channel then you'll get to know about all the other videos we're doing in the meantime thanks for watching bye for now